Okay, let's get back to it. After all we went through, it's hard to believe we wound up here. Oh, this is rad. The, the main kid from the first hey, series. The text message from Earth Base. You've got to read this. Huh? You're kidding. No, Rad, it's for real. A lot of the kids well, got really hot when they got older from Armada, including Carlos. You think an uh, annoying little yeah, ethnic yeah, stereotype, a really unfortunate one too, wouldn't actually again. No, Doc, be, you know, likable. And he still isn't likable, but they the really be sheet him up <laughs> for this series. I haven't Wait, actually seen this version of this episode. Uh, the so version I usually watch is not here. Yeah, go figure. What wonderful news. After all these years, we may find enough energon to finish my project. Transformers will have the power they need to survive and repair Cybertron. And you Would any viewer at this point actually care what's going on? I mean, you should at least feel something at this point. We're six minutes into this thing. would be the salvation of us all. Tidal wave like asteroid belt. Hey, tidal wave, did you hear I remember when you were, you know, the size of an actual aircraft carrier. Now you're just slightly taller than we are. Not the Compassicon. Compap. Compassicon. Hey, look up there! Not good. What? What's not good? Oh my god! Oh! There's never enough Daka. Remember that, kitties. Oh my god! Okay, these little things are called the Terracons. And no, they are, have no relation to the Terracons from Transformers Prime. For much scarier. Their backstory will be revealed later. Oh! And there's Ironhide. I actually pity Ironhide. As this, if this theory was, uh, that looks a bad optimist. If this series was actually good, you would be able to see that Ironhide's life is awful. Everyone he cares about dies on him or betrays him or is kicker, and he really can't catch a break. And he's voiced by the guy who voiced Carlos. Which is not a plus. That's enough training for today, man. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Sir! Oh, wow. Can't believe Optimus said that. Just to be mentioned in the same breath as Hotshot is probably the greatest compliment in the universe. Oh, yeah, and he's a Hotshot fanboy. Speaking of Hotshot fanboys, you might notice that a lot of characters from Armada are strangely absent What's for this up? series. Sideswipe, Wheeljack, Scavenger, who I don't like, but still. They're all gone, and there's no explanation. Do they blow up? I mean, where are they? Oh, there's Carlos now. When he got older, he actually spontaneously grew whites on his eyeballs. First the asteroid belt, then Mars. Earth could be next. Hotshot will protect Earth. Oh, this is an additional use of that scrubbing away Primus's dialogue. I'll assemble a recon team at once. Primus is supposed to be talking here, but um, <laughs> there's just a big glowing light that everyone's kind of ignoring. Optimus, is it true, sir? Are the mining operations under attack? Just as well, though. I mean, Primus is another thing. Like, no one even mentioned Primus in the last series. It was all about Unicron, Unicron, Unicron. Now suddenly, Primus! Like, I don't even get it. Wait. I'm acting. Oh, Gary Chalk, you can do better than this. My body is ready! I apologize. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, uh, Jetfire. Yeah. Jeez. But I can. It's your decision, Jetfire. Yeah. Okay, come on. Sir! <laughs> what? You were yelling at him, and now all of a sudden he can come with you? Open the gate. Roger that, Optimus. I'm all over it. I'm all over it like a thing that's all over another thing. Dr. Jones? Is Ironhide going with them? Ah, Dr. Jones. We meet at last. As you could see, there is nothing you cannot find which I cannot take away. I apologize for my horrible accent, I'm not even sure what that was, frankly. And we are flying. And we are driving. That's weird. That's not how the space bridge travel worked in the last series, but who cares? Oh, wait. I do!
Okay, so they're on Mars. It looks like we're too late. I am what so bored. Where's my paycheck already? And by wiped out, I mean killed. <laughs> Sorry, I need to sneeze. Beep, 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 beep. So that's Energon? Yes, it's the Ener... Okay. Cuts off in the middle there. That's nice. So that's Energon? Yes, it's the energy source that all Transformers need to survive, Sally. You know, it looks kind of dangerous, don't you think? Like I care. Oh my god, needless He's angst. That boy. He's just going through a if I wanted a kid who whined all the time about nothing, I would have watched Batman and Robin. We don't need Transformers or Energon. It's a weird thing for a character in a show trying to sell us toys and the Transformers and the Energon to say. I thought it would be so cool to live on Cybertron. Boy, was I wrong. So yeah, this dialogue. Was Pretty sure this narration of paper is added over the episodes. Oh, and this version also scrubbed away. You see cameos in the Amada kids. So much. I kept trying to run away. Kicker, where are you? Are you in there? Don't make me smack you. About you. Kicker, Kicker. I just hope he isn't lost again. Again? How many times has he gotten away from you, Optimus? Couldn't they have gotten a different actor to play Kicker as a little kid and not Brad Swale? Does that sound like a child to you? Darn it, he has so many opportunities to die, and yet he just consistently doesn't. There's that big glowing ball of light that we were ignoring earlier, but can suddenly speak and is calling itself the core. The great destiny lies ahead of it's really funny, because in the other version of this episode I listened, I, shall help you I saw Primus really, really sounded like Megatron, which was weird, because they weren't even voiced by the same guy. But Megatron was dead. God sounded like him. Are you serious, Carlos? It was weird. <laughs> Strange box. Was it the doctor? Earth is probably next in line. Thanks for the heads up. That, I wasn't done. Hotshot! You gotta submerge the city! And make it quick! No can do, kicker. We're right in the middle of an energon mining up. And besides, Can't you just who raised the city in the first place? Listen! We're under attack! We're what? Come on! Let's go! Under attack! I heard what you said! Wait, who's that guy? Was that Perceptor? That makes zero sense. I like how he actually walks up. I mean, I know Demolisher's not the brightest, but it's kind of a stretch. I mean, he's a soldier. Shouldn't he be less gullible than that? Totally, 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 totally. Kicker? Kicker? The actor sounds like he's in pain. That's that's a cloud kicker. We've been through this. This better not be a joke. It's not. Now fire! If it were a joke, it'd be funny or likable. There's nothing. See, I killed the evil cloud for you. Now can I go back inside, please? They're like stormtroopers, except they die more easily. And they fly. And they die more easily. He died? It's like sitting on a bunch of oil and be like, why would they be attacking us? Ugh. 